Good evening, one and all present here. I would like to welcome you all for this webinar on classification and prediction algorithms in data mining. Now, yesterday we discussed about the basic concepts of the classification. Now we discussed about the remaining part of the classification algorithm and uh, the other uh, method called as prediction. What is the Bayesian classification? Already we discussed about many of the dysentery algorithms and other kind of classification algorithms. ID 3, 4.5, C 4.5 and everything is discussed. Uh, Guinea index, uh, information gain, these things are discussed yesterday. Now we discuss about the Bayesian classification. What is the main concept of the Bayesian classification? It's a Bayes theorem oriented algorithmic approach. This is actually the in Bayes theorem concept. The entire concept is actually behind the naive Bayes classifier and their implementation. How to construct the naive Bayes classifier? Naive Bayes classifier are a collection of classification algorithms based on Bayes theorem. I am already informed. So we got to discuss about, please everything is okay, uh, say yes in WhatsApp now. We got to discuss about the naive Bayes classifier algorithm. It is not a single algorithm, which, but which contains a family of algorithms where all of them are share a common principle. What is the common principle shared in this naive based group of algorithms? So the based on the conditional probability, the information are exact exactly carried out. Every pair of features being classified in dependent of each other that is every pair of features being classified is independent of each other each and every attribute is treated as independent variables which does not depend on the other variables based on the independent variable we can find the value of the dependent variable this is the concept of the Bayes theorem so based on this concept now the Bayes naive Bayes classifier is discussed how what is Bayesian classification why we require Bayesian classification? There are four kinds of Bayesian classification. One is probabilistic learning, incremental learning, probabilistic prediction, standard, standard prediction. Okay. Now, what is probabilistic learning? We can calculate the explicit probabilities for hypothesis oriented. I am already informed based on a condition based on a hypothesis this entire Bayesian network, Bayesian classifier, Bayesian theorem is carried out. Among the most practical approaches to certain types of learning problems, most of the attribute values are calculated by means of a hypothesis is probabilistic learning. In probabilistic learning, some of the examples, some of the training set and the testing sets are given some uh, accurate accurate result not perfect accurate result somewhat it is probabilistic result nearly accurate so what is the incremental method each training example can incrementally increase or decrease the probability that the hypothesis is correct if the if your hypothesis if your, if your condition is correct 
then only then only your uh, informations are carried out by means of the bayesian classifier okay so you have to perfectly fit your hypothesis perfectly fit your condition so you must have prior knowledge about how to fit the hypothesis how we can combine the observed data how we can organize the attributes and everything is perfectly done by you so this is the incremental learning now what is probabilistic prediction there are one kind of prediction method is called as probabilistic prediction which predict multiple hypotheses weighted by their probabilities based on their probability values some of the attributes some of the training set and testing sets are uh, predicted so which is not exactly perfect because which is the probabilistic prediction somewhat it is perfect therefore we can predict multiple hypotheses instead of using a single hypothesis we can use more than one hypothesis hypothesis means condition a condition based information gain is called as is done by bayesian classifier okay what is the standard format even when bayesian method or computationally interactable they can provide a standard of optimal decision making against which other methods can be measured so with the bayesian classifier find out whether the method the classifier find out results are find out results are perfectly find out by the yeah, bayesian classifier or not by comparing the other methods which are produced by uh, by the uh, same uh, for the same data set this is another one kind of uh, information extraction information gain then what is the basic concept of the bayesian theorem so given training set day d posterior probability interior probability posterior probability there are many kinds of uh, uh, probabilities are available posterior probability of a hypothesis h then probability of h depends on the data set d follows the bayesian theorem so probability of an event probability of the hypothesis h depends on the data set is calculated by using this formula so what is the maximum posterior posterior hypothesis by using this formula we can find out the maximum posterior hypothesis only we can find out the hypothesis why we can we require the hypothesis the conditions based on some condition alone we can find out the prediction methods the prediction information uh, whether the uh, if you choose an attribute then an attribute must satisfy the uh, condition set by yourself or not these things are discussed by means of this bayesian classification okay so practical difficulty is required which require bayesian classification requires initial knowledge of many probabilities so you must have some initial knowledge about many prob probabilities so significant computational cost also very very important so require initial knowledge of many probabilities the many kind of probability information oriented extraction you must you may require rarely okay this is bayesian classification another one the classification problem may be formulated using a using a posterior probability so posterior probability of a condition based on the data set x the condition or a class label c that is a tuple is find out by this method so the tuple probability of the class n is defined by using like so whether the outlook is sunny or windy or it is true or not so we can easily find out so uh, what is the idea of uh, using this uh, bayesian classification we can assign a sample x to the class c such that this condition pro conditional probability bayes theorem concept is maximized when we can when we get the solution for this uh, sample data set x based on the class label c depends on the probability conditional probability then the output the should be maximized this is the concept of the bayes theorem now estimating a posterior probability how we can estimate it by using some formulas here 
p of c bar x c depends on x p of x is constant for all classes p of c relative frequency of c classes class symbols c is such that p of c bar x is maximum then we can use this formula okay so without this formula the the bayesian classifier will never work so the problem is actually computing the value of x value of the x and depends on some condition is infeasible because we can find the uh, hypothesis value based on a set of uh, uh, samples is feasible based on we can we cannot find out the set of variables x based on the condition which is infeasible okay so naive bayesian classification is based on this uh, entire uh, concepts there are two kinds of uh, naive basis based uh, bayesian classification one is categorical value based and another one is continuous value based categorical value based are based on the relative frequency of the samples having value of xi as i the attribute in class c so it depends on the value of x the categorical attributes are extracted depends on the value of continuous values the continuous attributes are extracted so this these two kinds are exactly carried out by means of this bayesian classification mostly the this naive bayes bayesian classification is applied in neural network concepts therefore we require some uh, some kind of neural network concepts this is one of the example for play tennis example estimating how to uh, how the this naive bayes classifier is extracted based on this table and how we can able to find out a particular uh, value of probability value probability value based on sunny and overcast and uh, rain temperature humidity and windy if you see like p of sunny depends on p equal to 2 by 9 totally 9 that is sunny is available in, in 1 2 3 up to 4 9 places 9 places sunny is available in which what is the p value p value appears how many places in how many places only in two places only in two places that is the concept so outlook based on the outlook the based on the temperature number of appearances is calculated total number of appearances total number of current attribute values is calculated very simple so play tennis example is already explained how we can calculate it by using this formula already we stated the formula by using this formula we can calculate the probability values okay now if it is if this value is greater than 0 and between uh, less than 1 it should be highly appreciated if uh, this value is nearer to 0 than low or low that is a minimum probability function is ex actually extracted okay now what is the Uh, independent hypothesis independence of hypothesis which makes computation possible independent hypothesis means whatever the condition is given as independent then the dependent variables are extracted the independent hypothesis dependent constraints are extracted so which yields optimal classifiers when satisfied when a condition is satisfied then the entire classifier gives the optimal solution but it is a seldom satisfied in practice as attributes are often correlated if all the attributes are correlated then only it is possible to clearly states otherwise uh, is not possible okay so attempt to overcome this limitation so if the information uh, the attribute values are highly correlated then only the bayes classification is uh, perfectly uh, find out the uh information gain okay now what is that attempt bayesian networks and descent tree are the very famous examples of the bayesian classifier so already what is descent tree and what is bayesian network these things are explained okay now bayesian believe networks how a network can access access bayesian believe network this is for example this is given family history lung cancer is available if the patient having smoking habit then uh, this kind of testing is carried out and this one is this kind of uh, diseases are extracted positive x positive x ray given 
for lung cancer x-ray are given and uh, based on this uh, network uh, we can find out some values the condition probability table for the variable lung cancer this lung cancer is ex extracted okay now what is the bayesian value network based on the conditional approach only this uh, naive base network is ex extracted so a graphical model for casual relationship is totally find out by means of this bayesian uh, uh, network which allows a subset of the variables conditionally independent the independent based on the independent variable we can find out the information uh, for the dependent uh, concerns dependent variables this is called as bayesian classification next we have to discuss about back propagation classification what is back propagation it is a neural network learning algorithm back propagation is the neural network learning algorithm the neural network field was originally handled by psychologist and neurologist biologist who sought to develop and test computational analogs of neurons in order to find out the computational analogs of the neurons we can use this back propagation algorithm so it is a purely neural network based learning algorithm which uh, which is very difficult to add uh, incorporated which is difficult to implement nowadays in practically some uh, some people are uh, uh, implementing this neural network based back propagation algorithm but back propagation algorithm work based on the what the bayes theorem concept as well as the near some of the neural network concepts so roughly speaking a neural network is a set of connected input and output units in which each connection has a weight associated with it each and every connection must be associated with a weight so during the learning process the network learns by adjusting the weights so that to be able to predict the correct class label of the input tables so say so neural network based information gain is uh, whatever the attribute values the values are um, associated with a weight the weight may be a numeric digit or weight may be any kind of information categorical value or any kind of information so each and every ne neural network based information extraction we have to assign some weight for each and every node each and every edge okay so what is neural network what is the advantages of neural networks which predict accuracy in gen in generally high the accuracy is very high so which is a robust algorithm when we find out uh, this neural network algorithm uh, will exactly carry out the errors the errors contains if some of the errors available in the uh, training set and the testing set the algorithm work very exactly therefore this algorithm is called as robust output may be discrete real valued output a vector of several discrete or real valued att attributes are created the output may be uh, uh, perfectly created by using this neural network concepts fast evaluation of the learned target function is also carried out the neural network algorithm also gives the speedy results fast evaluation of the learned target function whatever the function defined by the algorithm is quickly evaluated so what is the criticism available in neural network which is a long training time so because in order to identify all the neurons available in a neural network based algorithmic approach it will take the time time is very high therefore this algorithm fails difficult to understand the learned functions how we can able to assign the weights for each and every attribute each and every edges or edge every other things nodes is is not easy so it is not understandable so not easy to incorporate domain knowledge what the actual information available in the domain is not easy to understand okay a neuron based how a neuron neuron is available so this <coughs> this is a activation vector x and w weighted vector w and sum this is weighted vector w and weighted sum based on these two values weighted sum is calculated then using some conditions a function is created activated and then the function output is created this is an n dimensional here n dimensional input vector x is mapped into variable y variable variable y 
by means of the scalar product under the nonlinear function. It is a nonlinear function, multi level function. Nonlinear function means only one function is not available. Multiple functions are available because multiple neurons are carried out, then you can use multiple functions. Okay, network training. The ultimate object of objective of training is. We got to obtain a set of uh, weights uh, that makes almost all the tuples in the training data class classified correctly. So whatever the number of uh, training data are available in, uh, in your databases, data set in the neural network concept. So everything should be assigned by means of a weight. The set of weights are actually created the out outputs, the correct outputs. The steps. Uh, actually initialize the weights with the random values. What are the steps available? Initialize weights with the random values. Randomly we can choose any weight and then assign, find out the result. Feed the input tables into the network one by one. See, it's not possible to uh, give input the whole entire uh, attribute values and the weights. So only one input is given as, uh, only one tuple is given as input and then find out the result of the other. I am already uh, state that uh, there is a testing and a training process is carried out for each unit for each unit compute the net input to the unit as a linear combination of all the inputs to the units. So only the linear function is finally created some of these which have some uh, error which obtain some errors compute the output value using the activation function based on the activation function the output should be created. The uh, actual uh, information gain is uh, updated by means of the weights and the bias. Okay, multi layer perceptron. Already you have idea about the multi layer perceptron. Here, uh, one, two, three, three layers are available. So, based on the this three layer multi layer perceptron, how a yeah, neural network information is carried out. Then we have to discuss about the association based classification. Uh, these are all not uh, available in your syllabus, I think. Several methods for association based classifications are available. Quantity association mining and the clustering of association rules, associative classification, and uh, CAEP, classification by aggregation emerging patterns. These things are very basic uh, methods, association based, association rule based classification. How, why we require association rules? In order to correlate more than one data variables, more than an attribute, we require association. One of the very famous association uh, rule is correlation analysis and statistics. Now, what are other classification methods? K nearest neighbor classifier, case based reasoning, genetic algorithm, rough set approach, fuzzy set approach. These are some association based other classification algorithms perfectly utilized. Now, just uh, a look at uh, what is instant based methods, other instant based methods. Instant based methods are also available. So, store training examples and delay the processing, lazy evaluation. So, until a new instant must be classified. Whenever a new instant, whenever a new attribute value is reached to the uh, training uh, set, uh, then, it, then only the classification process starts. So, this is the instant based learning method. Typical approaches are K nearest neighbor approach, locally weighted regression analysis, and case based reasoning. These are some examples. Now, what is the K nearest neighbor algorithm? So, which all instances correspond, correspond to points in the n dimensional space, which is n dimensional based on the n dimensional space. Here, uh, in the space, we can have a assume a point, how many dimensions are available. By using this K nearest neighbor algorithm, in n dimensional space, we, which is the n dimensional space is uh, method, the n dimensional space oriented methods are very tough to implement because which have many functions, many attribute values, many information gain rules. So, what is the KNN algorithm? The basic KNN algorithm having this uh, formula in order to find the weights, in order to find the weight alone, we can use this formula. This in this formula, the distance between two points or more than two points or a number of points are calculated. This is D means distance between two points or distance between each and every point is available. This also, this K nearest neighbor algorithm is also 
robust algorithm because which effectively handle the noisy data the noisy data so curse of dimensionality if the distance between neighbors could be dominated by irrelevant attributes so the, the dimensionality oriented high dimension data is exactly carried out by means of this KNN algorithm <coughs> case based reasoning so based on the entropy based information whenever a information that is whenever your attribute value reach to the training samples this kind of case based information extraction is carried out by, by means of this algorithm then what is the remarks on lazy and eager algorithms some difference so time taken uh, concept sorry uh, taken into account time is the main main concept and noisy data are exactly carried out between these two informations are not how long which one is best and which one is not best these things must commit to a single hypothesis that covers the entire instance space is eager algorithm and lazy based method which does not like that and go to uh, some uh, uh, little differences between the algorithms what is genetic algorithm already i am already informed you the genetic algorithm we have uh, it is a bio biological evaluation based algorithm there are two kind of operations are available crossover and mutation based on the crossover and the mutation that is this genetic algorithms are available so in the zero and one are called as uh, uh, genes of the genetic algorithm combination of genes are called as chromosomes in the genetic algorithms as these other values are available so a rough set approach is also another one method rough set uh, rough sets are usually approximately roughly the rough set approach is not uh, is not given the uh, exact information but we have to put the lower limit and upper limit for uh, finding the attribute values by finding the uh, classifier values outputs finding the minimal subsets we have to use some minimal uh, subsets it is a np hard problem np hard problem means a non deterministic polynomial time hard so time computational time is very high if you use a rough set approach computational time is very high then only it is called as np hard problems there are there is no output perfect output for the uh, np hard problems this function rough set approach is np hard problems so fuzzy set approach is another concept so uncertainty of the attribute values is called as an fuzzy sets the output of fuzzy sets between is carried out between 0 and 1 mostly this uh, based on the fuzzy membership concept uncertain informations are exactly carried out by means of this fuzzy concept fuzzy concept means some values you can know, note that some values here are available this low level some values are here are available in the medium level some values are available that is one attribute value may available in more than one set is called as fuzzy set attribute value so fuzzy uncertainty perfectly is not find out the value of each and every attribute is fuzzy set concept okay now we discuss about the prediction what is prediction prediction in data mining is to identify data points purely on the description of the another related data value so based on the classified information only some prediction is carried out one of the number one prediction approach uh, used in statistical concept is a linear regression in the linear regression we can have some what uh, if uh, two sets of variables are given uh, for one set of variable is value of variable is given then we can find out uh, the another set of variable value of the variable so x value is given then we can find out y value y value is given then we can find out the x value which is whichever not available in the particular sequence so so prediction is mostly used for fulfilling the missing values for in order to find the missing values the prediction method is available for that the classifier output is exactly carried out so what is prediction prediction is similar to the classification first construct a model we got to construct a model so linear regression and multiple regressions are examples of non-linear regressions are the examples of the best prediction method i am already informed prediction is different from classification because classified information alone are predicted 
not predicted informations are classified so a classifier refers to predict categorical class labels prediction models continuous valued functions whatever the classifier produces as a result then, then only the prediction values are finding find out predictive modeling in databases nowadays there are, there are many kind of predictive modeling are available predict data values are construct generalized linear models based on the database data this predicted modeling we have to predict data values one attribute value only we can predict because the prediction is mostly utilized for fulfilling the missing value uh, finding the uh, correcting the inconsistent value uh, finding the uh, other kind of outliers removing the outliers these things uh, is the prediction oriented information what is the outline of this method minimal generalization minimum uh, requirement is enough attribute relevance analysis is carried out general linear model construction is enough for the prediction method so perfectly this uh, method predicts some values so what are the determine what are the major relevant analysis data relevant analysis uncertainty measurement entropy analysis exports judgments are carried out so what is the uh, concept of this entire uh, predictive modeling databases multi level prediction trill down and roll up analysis are exactly carried out so what is regression regress analysis regression analysis or regression analysis already i informed you y equal to alpha plus a plus b x if you know uh, x value you can find out y value based on the constant values of alpha and beta so multiple correlation more than one two cause based on the x1 and the x2 value we can find out the y value which depends on the constants b0 b1 and b2 under a log linear concept is extracted for more than one variables by using some formulas so locally weighted regression so linear regression and multi multiple regressions are carried out in in which the regression analysis is exactly find out this this is somewhat multiple regressions are <coughs> carried out by means of a algorithm this is locally weighted regression algorithm each and every variable must assign a weight then we can find out the prediction models so prediction based on the numerical data are given this this figure is not available in your textbook not there okay so this is another one example for categorical data based on this values we can easily find out the chart so how we can require the classification how we can find out the classification accuracy based on the training set of data and based on the testing set of the data now i already informed the testing set is one if the way attribute contains three the training set is two if the attribute value like a set contains 10 the testing set may be one or two attributes the training set may be eight or nine attributes so like we can easily verify the accuracy of the algorithms cross validation is cross validation is exactly carried out if you have k fold cross validation we use vega software cross validation or exactly find out we can easily find out by means of specificity sensitivity and the kappa statistics everything is available in the uh, cross validation method so the this is the main concept of this prediction and other methods boosting and bagging is also another kind of classification accuracy methods are available okay how how some smaller kind of accuracy results if you obtain then how we can able to boost the increase the accuracy uh, output this is uh, called as a boosting technique these are all very simply carried out so out of this what we can learn classification and uh, only how the classification is probably carried out what is the scalability what are the databases and the techniques used what is the non relational data sets text special multimedia sets everything are discussed okay now we are coming into the final stage of the question and answer session if you have any doubt you can ask me
I will enable your button to answer the questions. Anybody have uh, questions? I will <coughs> call one by one. Just I am given a small introduction about Balaji. Balaji Mohan, you can talk now. Just I am given some small introduction about the classification and the prediction. Lot of information are available. Okay, Balaji Mohan, not ready to speak with me. Your audio button is. Yeah, okay. What's your doubt? What's your doubt, Balaji? Just now I joined, sir. Yeah, okay. So what I can do for it? Because I have another work. Okay. 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 Uh, right. Uh, next person. Uh, Asif. Uh, Ahmed. Yes, you can talk now. Ahmed. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's your doubt? Sir, what do you want to do? Don't lie. Uh, ask the This is a live session. You can record this one. Don't ask this kind of in information. What is the next? Dandabani, you can speak now. Any doubt in the subject? You can ask. Other things are not necessary. Okay. Magesh. Manjus Magesh. We can talk now. Anybody have a doubt? Other people's? Prabhaharan. Or Prabhaharan. You want to speak? Your audio button is enabled. Okay. Nobody is ready to ask any questions. So I would like to end this session. Thank you very much for kind participation.